Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, before we get started, uh, welcome to whoever is new here and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So today I'm going to show you how I taught my dog Nala how to walk at a heel. Uh, when she was a puppy, she pulled all the time. Um, it was very hard to get her to pay attention to me. Um, and then I did a ton of research of how to train dogs and how to uh, redirect their attention. Again, I am not a professional trainer. I just really enjoy it after I studied it and learned a lot about it. Um, so I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you in some way. Um, please leave a comment down below uh, if you have any requests of videos you want me to make or if you're enjoying it, any comments. <laughs> Uh, don't be mean, please, because I have gotten some mean comments, and this is literally just for fun and uh, for your enjoyment. So, and I wish I would have seen a video like this when I first got Nala. So, all right. So, in the beginning, uh, when she was just a puppy, I want to say we started leash training her, I want to say a few weeks after we got her. Uh, we got her three, three and a half months old. Uh, yeah, she was very excited to see every dog. I want my dogs to pay attention to me and I want them to walk by my side. I want to have complete control over them. So I knew I had to get to work. So what in the beginning, what I did was I started in inside and I had a high value treat. So I'm just gonna show you uh, what I did with her as a puppy. Obviously she knows how to walk at a leash now. Um, but I just want to show you what I did walking through the steps of what I did uh, with her as a puppy. Um, as of right now, I can have her off leash and she'll walk next to me or behind me, which means I'm the leader uh, and she follows me. So we can do that around our neighborhood um, and she's really good and she listens really well. <laughs> Okay, so obviously Nala already knows how to do this, but this is what we did when she was a puppy and it worked beautifully. Um, we had a treat in one hand and place it in front of their nose and lead them as you walk. It's important to start inside for this process as they get used to walking next to you in a heel position. After they get used to walking next to you, you want to add in the word heel or with me. That's what I used. And you want to make sure that you do turns while you're inside, right and left. I also added in a sit every time I stopped. Um, I did this without using a command. I just led her into a sit position and then I would treat her. She actually did this naturally when I stopped and I wanted to reward that behavior so I treated it. As you want to make the challenge a little bit harder, you don't always lead them with the treat. Instead, say heal and then when they come to you, you treat that or you just coax them into the heel position and then take away the treat and then after a little bit, then treat them for that behavior. You just don't always want them to be reliant on the treat. As you can see, Nala is always looking at my eyes because in the beginning, I would never treat her until she looked up at me. She is very food driven and I want her focus to be on my eyes and I'm the one who's giving her the treat. Next, you wanna practice outside after you mastered inside. Usually you go out to your front yard and then you start walking. It's all in increments and in stages, so you don't overwhelm the dog and that they still understand what's going on. After I walked around with a loose leash in one hand and a treat in the other, I made the challenge a little bit harder and I would drop the leash and say heel or say Nala and as she looked up at me I would treat that. And now this is the end result. I can walk around town and she doesn't have to be on a leash. This is current day, we're just on a trail and she's just walking at a heel with me with lots of smells and animals all around. 
she's such a good girl and she's so smart. Here she is wearing a backpack and sometimes we use this as preparation for backpacking or hiking. Well that is all. Thanks for watching guys.